Okay, you know the routine. Scrapyard action. On the way home. Salvaging, scrapping, scavenging, dumpster dive, treasure hunting. Action. <laughs> Let's get to it. Oh yeah, I've also got an Xbox 360 brick and an Xbox 360 Connect camera, motion sensor daily. I sold that to a guy for ten dollars. Gotta deliver that. Here it is. I'll separate it out. Got some stainless steel, a little bit of electric motors. A little bit of aluminum breakage. That pan goes aluminum breakage because it's got a tin thing. I could take that off there if I really wanted to. I probably will actually when I turn the camera off. Some nice clean aluminum. Uh, some electrical conduit stuff. A couple rogue cans. A couple pots and pans. That's an electric griddle. Another pot. A little bit of tin shred in here. You got an old stereo. There's a heavy duty transformer in there. If, if you wanted to get that out, you could and sell it as an electric motor. I got an old vacuum cleaner. There's a motor in there if you wanted to take the time, take the plastic off. But some old uh, ouch capacitors. Stuff down in there. I got four kinds of uh, insulated copper wire here. Uh, Number one insulated copper wire would be over here. These are the five main ones I deal with. There's other ones too, and your scrapyard might be a little different, but from right to left, cheapest to most valuable. Christmas lights is gonna be, at least where I live, is gonna be about the lowest grade of copper wire. And then there's junk wire. That audio video cable would be a junk wire. Stuff like stuck stuff with stuck like ugh, stuff with stuff like that stuck to it. That's hard to say. Stuff with stuff like that stuck to it. Junk wire. And then here's some number two. Insulated copper wire. This is like a cord off like a power strip and televisions and that kind of stuff. And then over here some communications wire. They put this in a cat five category. It also includes like cat six. This is actually cat six. Look at that. But it'll go in their Cat 5 communications category. So this is going to be about, I think, like 10 cents, 15 cents. Uh, it, it fluctuates. 45 cents or so. This will be like 60 cents. And then if I had some number one insulated copper wire over here, it'd be like, uh, I think it's like 80 cents, 90 cents right now today. Prices are pretty low right now. But Thought that might be interesting, and uh, guess that's it. Increase my profit a little bit by taking off one screw. Let's see. Shouldn't be too terribly time consuming. Let's see what's under it though. This scrapyard's fairly lenient. I don't have to take all this stuff off. Like they'll, they're lenient on this kind of stuff for clean aluminum. Lots of scrap yards, you have to have every single screw out, every single piece of plastic. And even sometimes that heating element in there will be magnetic. Let's see. No, it's not magnetic. But anyways, it, that'll be good enough for clean aluminum. I'll go ahead and take this off too, actually. That's a little chunky. Most scrapyards probably will be real picky because they're gonna wanna make the best profit they can, you know. Buy something like this for five cents a pound from you with this kind of stuff stuck to it. And then turn around, just take that off and sell it to a mill for 30 cents a pound. So it's not the scrapyard's job to increase your profits. Let's have a look at them prices. Short steel and tin, 
staying where it was. I mean, it's super low, but it hasn't gone down. I'm tripping over catalytic converters. Uh, aluminum, 20 cents. That's super low. I think that's the lowest I've ever seen aluminum. Um, number one copper is all the way down at $1.45. Number two copper, $1.30. That's super low. Aluminum breakage is down to a nickel. Motors, 10 cents. Stainless is a nickel higher than aluminum now. Uh, brass is all the way down to 90 cents. I've never seen brass under a dollar before. That's no good. And uh, their number one insulated copper wires all the way down to 65 cents. ACRs all the way down to 70 cents. Um, that's super low. Let's have a look at that ticket and see where that copper wire I was talking about. Let's have a look and see how far off I was now. Uh, you can. You can freeze the video if you want to get a whole look at everything here. It's $7.17. I'm just going to do the wire, the copper wires. The uh, Christmas lights are still at $0.10 cents a pound. Look at that. That's weird. Uh, a Cat5 cable, $0.35 cents a pound. Oh my goodness. Not too long ago, I was getting $0.60 to $0.75 cents a pound for Cat5. So that's basically chopped in half now. Uh, this is that low-grade wire, $0.15 cents a pound. And uh, let's see, number that number two insulated copper wire. Oh, it's all the way down to 30 cents a pound. Um, that's just about as low as I've seen it ever. So that's not good news. Um, so that makes it kind of difficult for the scrappers out there. So hopefully you need to find some other revenues, some other streams of revenue out there. Um, but with that being said, even when uh, scrap metal prices go down like that, it does it does hurt. But you know you can still you can still pay for your housing and your and your bills. You're just gonna have to work a few more hours, you know, <laughs> make up for that 25% cut in scrap prices or whatever it is. So you work 25% longer. It's just it's how it is. So it's still doable, but. It's uh, getting nitty gritty. I didn't realize those farkles were sitting in uh, dirty cat litter. <laughs> I might have thought twice before I got down there. But I earned the views today. Hope you enjoy the great farkle giveaway. March 31st, 9 p.m. Central. Live stream action. That direct TV piece of electronics would have some value to it if it was in really nice condition and stuff but someone's driver's license was in there that's not cool and uh
nothing like digging in cat litter. You think that's it? Alrighty then. That would be a good piece for an e-waste scrapper to crack open. Dig out the electronic precious metal goodies. In a recent video, I said I never really paid attention to this before. I wonder if those were all new, and that one, <laughs> that was definitely brand new. I wonder if those have any value selling. If you uh, saved a bunch up and put like a hundred of those on eBay in a lot. Brand new hardware for mountain garbage disposal. Obviously brand new garbage disposal sink stopper. Never really paid attention to that before. Dishwasher, dishwashers are mostly plastic. Uh, there is a nice little motor on there. I'm not gonna get that right now. Once upon a time, I'd take that. I'm gonna get down the road and try to make a good video for you. What I was doing there, I was looking for textbooks. Sometimes those three ring binders will contain textbooks, but that was more like worksheets and stuff. Oh well, nice pair of speakers.
Where are you going? If you watch my videos, you know, sometimes I'll say a theme will develop. Or I just keep finding the same type of object, or same type of item over and over and over again for the rest of the day. <laughs> Those are nice speakers too, both sets of them. That first set, I don't know what the brand name was. Logitech, that's a good brand. Nice little computer speakers. And then uh, little RCAs. Whole little surround sound system. I scored that with the camera off. Someone out there knows what that rack is for. Let us know in the comments if you wouldn't mind. It's kind of a neat little deal. It's kind of a little display rack. So, with that being said about the theme developing, I wouldn't be surprised if I were to find another kitchen faucet or bathroom faucet here real quick. If you would ever like to buy something for my videos, the instructions to do so are down in the description. If you click on the show more link, the whole description will open up and then you scroll down. It's really, I made it real easy for you to do if you see something you like. Kind of like a recent sale I made. Sometimes when I sell stuff, people will send me a picture. That's not bad. I'll throw that in the free tail store. That one's really nice. Um, sometimes when people buy stuff, they'll send me a return email with a picture of the thing they bought being used. Kind of like the case of Norman and the Nikes. lamp I might have to keep that in one piece I like I rather like that style it's perfectly functional too and that's something well my cats could probably knock that over if they wanted but that's not too bad hmm I think it's missing oh I think it's missing something here I think it's supposed to be two of them. So, uh, never mind. It's gonna leave it a little unbalanced. Kitty cat delight. Bust this lamp up real quick. I'll do it on camera, I guess. Watch as I trash pick a trash picker. That looks like it was a pretty nice one. What brand is that? Pick stick. That was a pretty nice one, I bet. I like that one. That's plastic. Plastic snapped off though. I bet that's a pretty good brand if anyone's interested. actually have a link for chest pickers down in the description as well
kind of nice things to have around. You never do know. And go figure, huh? One of those uh, portable fire pits down there. See that rusty piece of metal? It's got the lid with it too. I've seen a couple of those in the last week. Starting to rain. This is an interesting little dumpster here. It's a brand new little small warehouse, microbrewery type uh, kitchen, trailside kitchen and bar, cafe routine fitness kind of little place and all kinds of different little weird things I find around here these cur eggs are definitely about half the weight they used to be I'm pretty sure if I remember right they used to have a metal plate on bottom and we filled up with a bunch of metal uh, maybe a little more than half the weight but uh, they're definitely getting lighter 
I used to take those Keurigs because the scrapyard would take them. But I think the scrapyards would probably have a problem with this one. No visible metal. Lightweight. I was gonna leave and a, vi a Viceroy caught my eye. It's a Viceroy Fargo. Look at it. <laughs> two, uh, two Viceroy Farkles. Imposters. They do that in order for uh, in order to hide from predators and stuff. Because them Farkles, they're kind of poisonous. So those Viceroy Farkles, they, they they mimic what they look like, and that keeps them safe out here in the street scrap world. Speckled green back. Fairly rare species. I found a town a tan back earlier. That speckled greenback farkle got me thinking. Those first three farkles I found in this video, that may have been a new species. That may have been the ever elusive dung farkle. <laughs> they roll it, they roll dung up in little balls and push it around. That may have been the, the dung farkles. I didn't see any little balls, but it may have been my first ever dung farkle score. I would like to keep that for myself, and I would if it were somewhere else, because I wouldn't know where it belonged. This uh, apartment complex happens to have its own little golf course. So I'm gonna run it down here to the place real quick. Andy takes the checkered flag. Hello? Sorry, 
Just by for it, we think. I'm glad they're not all reinforced with duct tape. Find some odd stuff from time to time. Interesting thing about this is I could literally find anything that's ever been made on planet Earth that can fit in a dumpster. <laughs> I would need a computer brain to know what everything is. This is a battery charger. It's not like an automotive one. I think it's for like medical equipment. And this is some weird Roho. Have to Google that and find out what it is. This is a Googler. Zipper, let's see what we're dealing with. Look at that, it's kind of neat. I think it's. I thought it was like part of a chair. Hear that? I can squeeze the air out of it. And then it fills back up with air. What that one's thing say? Shape fitting technology. <clears throat> it might be out of lack of an electric wheelchair or something. Not sure, but that's awfully comfortable feeling. I'll tell you what. Let's see. 
It's an interesting battery charger. I would need a battery with that kind of input. It's kind of strange. I'm gonna hold on to that before I cut the cars off of it. Check it out, see what it is exactly. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to do anything with these. It's got some kind of air tube here. A little connection. It's interesting stuff. Not sure what it's doing. Oh yeah, okay. I didn't realize this place was here. Village house has got, I don't know if you can see that, but that van's got a picture of a electric wheelchair. Fancy schmancy variety. It's high tech, high tech, high quality. Electric wheelchair, action. I almost hate to throw those back in there. There's another one of those. I thought that was plastic at first. That's the insides of one of those. One of these. Almost hate throwing it back in there. So cool. Well, Ozark, Arkansas. They're a long way from home. Vulture. I have come back to get these chair cushions. I googled them. I found some more trash here on top. They're still there though. I googled them and they sell new for uh, $370. So <laughs> I usually, one of my rules is to stay away from reselling used medical gear. But I suppose there's an exception to every rule. This isn't really something that can hurt anyone, you know. It's not a deal where it's going to uh, be breathed into someone's lungs or pumped into their veins or you know what I mean. It's not. It's not a breathing machine or a anything really medical. They're basically basically just seat cushions so I'll put the link to these down in the description if you want to have a gander at them and I know this is 99.9% well, .9 sure there's nothing wrong with them because I mean it's an air basically it's an airbag so I will inspect them. But there's some good value there for sure. There's actually a spare deal down there. not really a whole lot that can be wrong with them except for that <laughs> let's get that off there Plus, that could be a really good deal for someone out there. If I just get rid of it on eBay for a hundred bucks total or something, you know. Look at that, I'm working without my gloves. I just made a video saying I never take my gloves off. <laughs> I didn't bring it with me. So there. Okay, I am just about home. I'm just about out of light and I'm just about filled up. I finished up the route, found these two little gems here, that dumpster, this dumpster. Figured I'd come back here and end the video. I don't lug around stuff like that, makes it too difficult. 
This is about eighth of a mile back check action. This is a nice little, nice little walker. Um, I think it's a walker. What is it? Nimbo. I think this is a rehabilitation place. Uh, I don't see anything wrong with it. It's, it's aluminum, so at the very least, it's a real nice piece of scrap metal. Even though prices are down. Like I said earlier, though, when it comes to scrap, prices go down 20, 25%. You can just work 20, 25% longer. Not a lot of fun, but in here, it's a sign shop in one of these places here. That is a stop sign, look at it. You don't ever mess with stuff up against the building. But uh, anyways, it's getting kind of dark. So let me get some light on the situation. This is looking open, man. Oh, let's make this quick. that was pretty cool that's a real heavy heavy duty i think it's like a high grade aluminum too it's like a real dense aluminum nice and heavy hear the hear that hear the chunkiness to it it's good stuff these letters are probably i don't think i've got the whole whole deal these letters are probably sellable in their own right people like to have these kind of letters if I wish I had more of them, they could spell out someone's name or something, but G O oh G's probably last. P-O-E-I-R-G dot. I wonder if it was a dot com something or other. Anyways. It's gonna wrap up the video. I sure hope you enjoyed this session. Uh, some people may look at this and think, oh, that's not very much stuff, but keep in mind this was just a trip home from the scrapyard. But also on the same hand, it was probably 150 to 200 dumpsters. Mm, two and a half hours or so since I left the scrapyard. Two hours, maybe. But, uh, I don't, don't mean to it's nothing super awesome, but on the other, other side of it, I also don't want to make it look like it's super easy, <laughs> even though it's not that much stuff. Even though it's just a trip home from the scrapyard. Checking, uh, I, I, I'll safely claim 175 dumpsters, is what I checked in this video. And uh, it's not actually an easy thing to do, but anyways, enough on that.